Trying for ribs on the pit barrel cooker. Yeah, just something for the family. Cut St. Louis style here, as you see. Got them hanging up. Here they are. Today's ingredients are got a little coarse black pepper, some kosher salt, uh, sprinkled with just a little bit of this uh, John Henry jalapeno rub, get just a little bit of spice kick. And of course, got to get the, uh, today we're using the barbecue rub, killer hogs. So we're trying that today again. I didn't put the AP rub on there, I do have that, but uh, that's what we're doing. We're getting the grill heated up, and uh, we'll see everybody in a little bit. All right, it's time to take the ribs outside and hang them on the pit barrel cooker. You see you got two rebarbs going across there and you just hang them up there one at a time. And uh, I think you can get up to eight, 10 slabs of ribs there if you want to. You see down the bottom there, I got some uh, charcoal and I got some uh, wood chunks. Today I'm using hickory. You can put in anything you want. Some people like a sweet wood like apple. We're getting a lot of smoke out of there, you can tell right now. So it's time to get the lid back on, adjust the dampener at the bottom a little bit. Uh, we're supposed to be just a little bit more open from our elevation. And get that done and uh, leave the ribs alone and uh, call it quits. We've reached the two and a half hour mark. Let's take a look at the ribs and see what we got. So here are the ribs after two and a half hours of smoke. As you can see, they look pretty good. Nice color to them. Not tender yet, but they are definitely good. Let's take a look at this rack over here. Same thing. Look good. If you notice, it only went down two bones, but you can go further down if you want. There are the ribs. And what I like to do is give them a little spray, so hold on for a second. So I've doused with my um, apple cider and apple cider vinegar, a little water spray and we'll put the lid back on and let these babies go back to work all right it's been about four and a half hours time to look at the ribs i decided that uh since dinner's coming a little early i'm gonna go ahead and wrap the ribs sometimes i don't wrap them but sometimes i do so i'm gonna take a look at the color oh yeah we got a nice color on those ribs here's my trusty little hook that comes with it that you can pull the ribs up with so I'm taking a look at the color now, and I decided, yeah, it's got a nice color to it. I don't need no more smoke. Let's wrap these girls. All right, here are the ribs after they've been wrapped for about an hour. And uh, you can see a nice pullback on the bones here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to sauce them up, and then I'm going to put them back on the pit barrel cooker with no wrap. Be right back. As you see, I got the ribs all sauced up. Ready to go back on the pit barrel cooker, let that sauce settle in there and get real nice and tacky and get it all baked into the ribs in about 30 minutes and then we'll be done. Alright, let's take a look at the final product. Um, let's see what they look like. Been wrapped, unwrapped, and now one second. And now they're ready to go. I'm gonna put them on the so I'm sit about 30 minutes before we cut into them. See the bones are nicely pulled back. A nice pull back on the bones here and they got a nice color to them so uh, we'll call it quits that's it for the day thanks for watching